Oh, hello everybody. It's uh, Daily Tactics here, and welcome back to some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. But today, we are playing with that First Order expansion, because someone requested it in the last video, and I thought, mmm, spicy. I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll take a taste of that. I'll take a hit. You know, hit me up, bro. First Order time. Yeah, so we're doing a just a huge full scale invasion of resistance trench lines that are off in the distance here ooh baby this is going to be hot and spicy Whew. uh so there are just hundreds of resistance troopers and uh resistance speeders sprawled out throughout this uh map it's actually a darth bacon map um who makes some awesome star wars galaxy at war mod maps shout out to him uh this one is called no man's land it's available on mod db if you'd like to check it out Regardless, uh, yeah, just yards and yards of trenches. It's super dope, uh, and they've got vehicles, and they've got turrets, and they've got mortars, and uh, what they're defending is this Imperial installation actually over here um, that I guess they took over and made their own base after, uh, you know, the war was over against the Imperial Army, and now the First Order wants to come in and reclaim it, because, you know, Kylo Ren's like a nut job about uh, Imperial artifacts and things like that. So, uh, the Resistance here needs to defend. It looks like there's been a few assaults. Uh, as we can see, there's a downed AT-AT over here, also some destroyed Resistance vehicles and whatnot. So, uh, it's clear that this is not the first attack but it may very well be the last. So, without further ado, Bad Larrys, I'll be right back and we'll get this thing going. Okie dokie then! Pressing start right now, and the First Order Army should begin marching forward in that they are. Look at them! They're so beautiful. This actually looks dope. This <laughs> this kind of reminds me with like the open uh, field, like, you know, with sort of that wispy dead grass kind of thing it reminds me of band of brothers when they're like sort of marching through normandy i don't know it, am i the only one getting that vibe it might just be me it looks dope though i'm really i'm digging this look at this huge train of troopers just coming on in they got flame troopers they got snipers they've got e11 standard gunners they've got machine gunners and they have three tx 130t tanks ready to go um, at a moment's notice. So they've, they're quite arsenaled up. They're, they're ready for this battle, for sure. And they are inching closer and closer to the resistance, and they begin to open fire right now. A couple of resistance troopers who are in the very, very front lines here going down quite easily, but the rest in the back lines are getting a solid amount of fire off and uh, beginning this large-scale defense. They've got a heck of a lot of trench systems, so I expect them to do quite well during this battle. Uh, but you've also got the opposite end of the res er, sorry of the First Order, who has just a plethora of troopers, all with very strong weapons, uh, ready to attack. So, I think it's going to be pretty even, and we're going to see a lot of struggle from both sides, and that's the best kind of battle, is when it's not completely one-sided, and we get to see uh, how each side does under pressure, and we're already seeing loads of dead First Order troopers over on this side, uh, but we're getting the tanks coming on in. They're rolling up and uh, beginning to assist in the assault here, which is going to be key. They're peppering the uh, the trench lines here, actually taking out a turret right there, decimating the troopers who were standing there, um, you know, utilizing that turret. And, uh, yeah, peppering these trenches, destroying some of the troopers from within, also probably trying to knock down the... Um, the walls of the trenches, because if they manage to do that, then uh, they'll make uh, quite good gains, I'd assume, in um, moving forward. Flame troopers up here, burning resistance troopers. We got a Quarren right here with his pistol out, but he gets down. Looks like he might have gotten a kill off there, or his friend did. Uh, these flame troopers uniting together. They're trying to separate themselves from the main army, I assume, because if these tanks get hit by even one blaster shot, uh, they have the potential to burst into flames. So, uh, you know, moving ahead of the army together uh, without the rest of the troopers within exploding range is definitely a very, very good idea for these flame troopers. And they're actually doing it. Like, they're getting very, very far forward and they're getting their arcs off, which is insane uh, considering, you know, the number of resistance troopers standing in the trenches uh, with the potential of shooting them. And yet they're still not getting the kills here. This is definitely a folly by the resistance. There we go. They get a 
get a few of these flame troopers dead, which is good, but is it too late? Because this front line up here has already been scorched. Scorched! Um, and those tanks continue to pepper fire down at these uh, resistance troopers, hitting their trenches very, very hard and annihilating some troops from within. It's now going back to the back lines of the resistance here, uh, where I would argue they are the strongest because they've got uh, two mortars over here, all of these turrets over here, and then not to mention the Imperial base that they're holding back here is just... It's huge. It, they got so many troopers there. Well, it's not huge in size, but it's huge in defense capabilities. Oh, look at that with that the rebel flag waving. Is the rebel flag the same as the resistance flag? I wonder. Either way, it looks super sick. I really dig this. <laughs> I'm taking some screenshots, boys. This is looking spicy. Might be the thumbnail. I don't know. Um, I took some photos earlier uh, when I was testing this battle out, and uh, and I might use those too. I'm not. I'm not fully sure yet. I'm not committed. Um, we've still got a few resistance uh, fighters, or lane speeder thingies, left alive. They don't seem to be doing too much, though. I think maybe their main gunners died on them, and now it's just the driver. Not 100% sure. Um, but it's it's up to these uh, infantry troopers to actually pepper this TX-130T with fire, and they're getting a good, fi good bit of fire on it, but it doesn't seem to be uh, destroying it like they maybe wanted to. Um... Imperial, or not Imperial, First Order uh, attack seems to have stalled out a little bit as the First Order has been sort of caught in no man's land here and, uh, you know, sort of cresting over this first lumpy hill of trench lines. Uh, they're starting to take a lot more losses and uh, their armory is actually faltering a little bit and it's not that mad rush that it once was. Now it's a bit more methodic and, um, you know, sort of concentrated. They're, they're considering their options. They're moving forward, uh, you know, strategically now. They're not just yeeting, which uh, you, you guys know this channel is all about yeeting, but, uh, but I can appreciate a good, uh, a good methodical attack as well. Uh, we've got them actually lining these trenches over here, uh, but the enemy resistance trench down below is really uh, annihilating them as they come up over the hill into this trench area. So. Uh, that's very interesting. This is actually turning out into a much cooler battle than I thought it would because uh, I thought it would just sort of be the uh, first order yeeting forward and, um, you know, it'd be over in a flash, either the resistance one or the first order one. And actually, the first, I only tested this two times, but the two times I did, the first time the first order came barreling through, didn't stop, and won. Um, and it took about 10 minutes, but it was. An impressive, impressive show of force. In the uh, second time I ran it, actually, the resistance held the first line here. They uh, got the um, first order to basically stop right around here. They took out all three tanks almost immediately uh, from rocket troopers, and the first order was completely halted. Um, so this is actually a nice middle ground. You know, it's the rule of threes, I guess. But this is dope um, because this is how I wanted the battle to turn out, and I guess the adjustments, adjustments I made during it have worked out, because now both sides are a little bit more even here. Uh, this land speeder over here died in a very peculiar fashion, um, and this trench over here, which has been getting absolutely assaulted by TX-130Ts, um, <laughs> its its barricades are down, it's only got like three troopers remaining, a couple of uh, Rodians and uh, human male uh, fighter. And uh, this one over here is looking even worse for wear, with one female human with a pistol drawn. Oh, poor chap. This one's looking a lot better. This is a healthy trench line right here. Only a few dead. Uh, but now they're starting to get attacked by this TX-130T and another TX-130T over there to the side. Uh, the problem with those tanks is they haven't gotten... Like, they're still way back here. They have not gotten close enough for bazookas to take them out. And there were resistance bazooka troopers right around here and, um, you know, pretty close. Uh, but I think they were killed before they could get their bazooka shots off. Or if they did, it wasn't enough to kill uh, the TX-130T there. So... At the moment, it's not looking fantastic. Uh, this left side over here seems to be in a lot better standings for the Resistance Army, because uh, they've still got these mortars, which I think will come into 
huge effect pretty soon. Um, and then this trench line down here is very, very healthy. They have not lost a single trooper, and they are uh, knocking out a ton of First Order troopers who tried to attack from over here. Uh, but they're susceptible to attack from the left over here as well, which won't be very good. Uh, they've also got a land speeder left alive over here. Oh, and a little, uh, little, little fortress there. Very cute. Uh, this land speeder is rounding off some fire at the upcoming enemy. Uh, it is not just the First Order who has tanks capable of slaughtering many, and I'm sure these land speeders have pulled their weight. Well, that one just died. It got 31 kills, though, so it definitely did pull its weight. This one has two kills, so that one not as much. We can't tell about that one. This one had 14, so yeah, these things are doing pretty well for themselves. Uh, TX-130T coming up on the side here. We can see it's here. Not see. Here. Wrong sense. We can hear its sirens going off, uh, meaning it's been hit quite a bit by incoming blaster fire but still staying just out of range of the Rebel Bazooka Troopers uh, who could potentially take it out in one shot. So, uh, very good strategy coming in here from the First Order. Uh, you know, keeping their tanks at a distance so that they stay alive for as long as possible. And these Bazooka Troopers from the Rebels, Resistance, same thing. Uh, <laughs> they're like yearning for a, a big ol' explosion. They want it. They want it bad. All right, First Order Infantry uh, creeping on forward over here. I think they might be preparing for a large-scale assault. Uh, also on the left over here, we can see quite a number of infantry troopers sort of moving around. I like how spread out they are, um, and that's what I tried to really do during this battle, kind of emulate how um, the uh, you know World War One trench warfare happened. They didn't all just sort of yeet forward in a mass. They were spread out over yards and yards of um, trenches and they all came forward very spread out as well so I think I did emulate that pretty well with the first order and then as the battle continues they find pieces of cover and sort of accumulate around there around those central points of the battlefield uh, that are more holdable and uh, you know that's sort of the way no man's land kinda works so I think I did a pretty decent job of setting up the battle in that way alright first order Struggling to make gains here, um, but they've definitely got the resistance in a pretty tight spot. How are these mortars doing? Um, this one's got 11 kills, and this one's got none. Uh, I'd, maybe the First Order isn't quite in range of them. First Order is actually very much so dwindling in terms of numbers. If you look at the battlefield minimap up in the top left, you can see red are the First Order troopers and blue are the uh, resistance troopers. Resistance have a very... Well, we knew about this trench. This is a very strong position here. Uh, then they've got a pretty nice amount of troopers right here, and then, of course, their end game um, military base over this way is pretty stacked as well. Actually, this is on an incline, so as you can see, the floor moves up with the base. So these troopers who are chilling back here are actually able to shoot out um, of the interior of the base. Whoa! TX-130T goes down, but not before annihilating a whole ton of resistance troopers over here, seriously damaging them and bringing their numbers down. Wowza! I was not expecting that. Luckily, the TX-130T was destroyed before it fully killed all of those resistance troopers, but that could be a game changer. I was thinking the resistance might have this in the bag. They might be winning this battle, but after that, their numbers just went down by like a fourth. They just lost so many troopers. That is absolutely insane. All right, first order coming on in here. And uh, the main base still does have uh, fighting capability. Very much so. We're seeing a lot of fire coming out from them. And they're peppering this uh, big first order push. Probably the largest push we've seen in a while from the infantry here. Um, also flames licking these mortars over this way. Uh, roasting a few of their friends back there. Um, but they're still, they're still alive. They're still kicking. They have a very ra narrow range of... Uh, fire so it's very much so a, it's maybe 30 degrees of fire or something like that maybe 45 uh, so they don't have a lot to work with there so uh, that might be contributing to their their relatively low kill counts also the first order is pretty spread out here so the resistance mortars might be struggling with that as well but we're hearing them round off now which is good to see gotta love a good mortar all right First Order over here has suffered immense losses, and I think this behemoth of a uh, trench over here that is just so untouched is really contributing to that. So that could be where the last stand of the Resistance takes place during this battle, as um, I'm a little bit more worried for the main Imperial base they're holding now as they 
lost so many troopers there. But this mortar is doing quick work now. This thing has uh, turned it up, and they've gone in full gear here, uh, taking out tons of troopers. Very impressive. Maybe it's a little retaliation. They're like, you killed all of our friends behind us with a TX-130T. We're gonna we're gonna show you a little taste of resistance mortar, a little palate cleanser, a little you know suckle on this bad Larry. One of the mortar gunners is actually dead right now. He might have been sniped from these troopers over here. Still a surprising number of first order flame troopers. I actually wasn't expecting a, a whole bunch of those guys to live, but they're uh, they're fighters. Those ones. They're they're still quite alive. Two TX-130 T's still alive over here. They seem to be having a lot of trouble navigating these tank traps and wooden uh, barricades and things like that. Oh, this one moving forward. Ah, stop deleting the bodies. That's my least favorite men of war glitch, is that when tanks roll over the bodies, they disappear. Because at the end of the battle, when you want to look at the body counts, the tanks have like ruined that, basically. It sucks. Wow, that's a lot of flame troopers. I did, I, I mean, I had like one flame trooper per squad. They probably made up like a tenth or maybe even like one fifteenth of the total troopers and yet they're 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 living they're living man they're not successfully is that gonna hit right there that'd be so impressive it didn't but uh they're getting doused with a bit of flame now actually they grenaded there goes that mortar skadoosh oh and it actually hit the other mortar too there goes both mortars down for the count there's only one trooper for the resistance holding this land now he's got his pistol out oh no there's another one over here and they uh, managed to take out that first order trooper right there another first order trooper actually came on in here interesting all right uh this trench line over here still very very successful um and of course the very back lines over here those suffered losses um are still kicking they're still alive baby heck yeah been nice I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> oh, we got a little grenading action over here. Looks like this resistance trooper helped out. Whoa! Yeah, you can't throw that uh, flame arc too close. He just ended up burning himself. Oh, jeez. That is definitely a danger of having these uh, flame units on the field. <laughs> oh, my God. That's dark. <laughs> Burned alive by your own gun. Look at all the flame troopers! Okay, I must have added more than I thought I did, because there are a ton. They're making a final push here towards the uh, Imperial base. The, the the resistance is letting them get mighty close here. I don't know about that. There we go. Now they're firing. They let them get close enough that they could douse them with flames! Boys, why would you do this? Oh my god, even in their last moments on Earth, as they burn to death, they're still firing at the enemy. These guys are absolute champs! They killed a couple of the resistant, or sorry, first order. I keep calling them the wrong names. I'm so used to calling clones and droids, not first order and resistance. Um, they killed some of the flame troopers, but there's still a couple alive. Um, but it seems like a few uh, first order snipers in the back are causing uh, some problems, and the rebels are trying to take them out. Rebels, resistance, they're, the, they're basically the same thing. They're a carbon copy of each other. Huh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> All right, the interior of the base is almost untouched. There's one death over here. This guy who's lying between those crates, Rodian. Um, <laughs> there's still this entire thing over here. This thing has not taken a single loss. What a what an absolute champion! Whoever designed this trench line over here, it's in the perfect spot, right below the hill, so they can shoot up. And then also they got a hill to the right, so these guys can't really shoot down at them without cresting over the hill and getting a face full of blaster. So. It's brilliant positioning there. Uh, first order, if we look at the... Uh, oh my goodness, more fire! No! You gotta kill those flame true Oh my god, as he was dying, they gave him another face full. Oh my god. Ha! Huh. You guys have to kill these flame troopers! You just gotta. You just gotta. There's four left, from what I can tell. And there's... Here we go. They've entered. The, the outside defenses were like, you know what, you guys can go. We don't want to become a barbecue. Uh, you just, you know, you feel free. You f oh my god. Why? They're all in the base now. There we go. They finally decided, okay, enough's enough. Oh no! Oh no! The base burns! The base burns. There's still one left alive! Kill him! You have the shot! He's right there! 
Bruh! Shoot him! Just shoot him! It's as simple as that! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Um, there's still also some more First Order Troopers out and about here. Oh my god, more Flame Troopers. How were there this many? I didn't think I'd gave them this many. Huh. There's also a Resistance Trooper who's still alive way out here. The only trooper in this sector of the map. That's impressive. Alright, do you guys want to just like shoot these guys? Come on. There you go. What? Do they have something against shooting flame troopers? There you go. Just shoot them. There's only like five more uh, First Order troopers left alive, by the way. There's these two up here who have regular guns, and then there's these two um, flame troopers. So there's four left. Here, we'll do an assault on the flame troopers. Off the trenches. Charge! Fire! Fire! No, fire! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh jeez. That's the last First Order Trooper left alive. This guy. He's got seven kills. Alright, you, you guys, you guys have to come kill him. Please, for me. Wow, your aim is terrible, good sirs. There we go, they got him. And then there's still these two TX-130Ts, which just can't make it past these uh, defenses here. Um, this one's got 33 infantry kills and 7 vehicle kills. Vehicles can include uh, mortars or turrets, because there definitely wasn't uh, that many speeders on the field for the resistance. So maybe a couple of them were speeders, but definitely not that many. Um, and then this one over here has 4 vehicle kills and 7 infantry kills. Um, and then this one over here that exploded and all that's left is the top. I'd imagine that one had a ton of infantry kills, like a ton. That one wrecked havoc. Um, so we'll just say, you know, their their crews are going to bail out because they got them stuck on these spikes, and they're going to um, run away. Go free, my friends. Go free. Tell the world of what you saw here and not to come and mess with the resistance base. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Towards the... You know, there was a lot of flipping flipping and flopping to who was in control during this battle. At parts, I was like, oh, the Resistance have this in the bag. And then in other times, I was like, I don't know, the First Order is really wrecking them right now. Especially when that TX-130T was just destroying over here. Um, but it ended up that the Resistance was able to hold. And I think a big part of that was over here, this did not capitulate. If this had fallen... Um, and didn't get all of these first order kills, then uh, I think the main base would have fallen because they slaughtered so many first order soldiers over here while still staying alive, um, and that's that's key in a battle like this. Um, so I think it's really just these guys who won the day. Um, either way, we can check out the kills. So yellow are dead resistance troopers, red are dead first order soldiers. And you can see most of the death occurred right in the middle, sort of uh, first trench line area. That's sort of where we got the most death. And then there's probably more um, soldiers who died throughout, but uh, the tanks ran them over, which kind of sucks. Also, a lot of First Order soldiers uh, died around here right before making it to the first trench line, which kind of makes sense. Um, that's going to be a big kill zone because they don't have really that much cover. Um, very few died on the hills back here. The hills are pretty clean in terms of deaths, uh, so at least they made it down the hill for the most part. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely hope you you enjoyed it, because I had a lot of fun making this one. Uh, this was good. This was a fun one. Um, oh, this guy had a kill. Very nice. He's, he's alive, and he had a kill. The only guy in this trench line to live. All his friends are dead. Um, and with that note, I'm going to peace out of here. Uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, it helps out the channel a ton. Check out Instant Gaming, my sponsor. Um, also, follow me on Instagram, because we're trying to get to 1,000 followers. And any of you guys following obviously helps out a ton. So, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, I've had an awesome time on YouTube um, the past few weeks. It's been great. You guys are killing it. Um, and I really appreciate it. So, I will see you all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.